Suncor came to the city about 2010 and proposed that we take over the cemetery at that time. And it was something we really had to think about. I think it was important for us. The people that are buried in the cemetery are very near and dear to, to all of us, but certainly to me. I thought about the migrant farm workers. Goodyear Farms actually recruited, if you will, uh, farm labor from Mexico. And so when they recruited, my both of my grandparents came from Mexico to work. Quite the, the move for them to leave their native country to come and work here in order to have a better life. We decided as a council that we would take it over. The Goodyear Farm Cemetery dates back to 1918, so when the city of Avondale took it over in 2010, it was obviously old and in need of repairs. So the improvements to the Goodyear Farm Cemetery have been made in the last year. It includes a security gate at the front, as well as a paved parking lot, security cameras and lighting, new sidewalks, landscape and irrigation improvements, and some maintenance area roads for access. In 2019, a public art piece, a gate called Algodone, was created and installed by artist Joe Tyler, and it was done in cooperation with the Municipal Art Committee. The art assignment is an entry feature. So I just thought something that would accentuate the new gates, something that would catch their eye and make them want to come in. I just, I just love agrarian people. So it was, was not difficult for me to connect with them. If you'd get into this area, this neck of the woods, it was oceans and oceans of cotton. I thought it would be nice to do an arch entry feature all about the mainstay crop and that would reflect the history of all the workers and what this whole area was about. Maybe it would put a smile on people's faces and harken back to that time and sort of thought we could kind of celebrate cotton as you went in, which sort of symbolizes the agrarian nature of the vast majority of people that are in the cemetery, what their roots were and what they did for a living pretty much their whole lives. And without them, there'd be no cotton. It was hard work working in the fields. I know that I went out as a young child with my parents in over 100 degree weather, most of the time as we always do in Arizona and being out in the farm fields and trying to pick the cotton straight out of the ball of cotton and pulling it out. And of course it would catch. And so you'd have, you know, bloody fingers and uh, hands and trying to uh, beat the heat and not and and then really having you know a burrito for lunch and going back on the field because the more the more you worked the more you picked the more money you would make and so uh, wasn't much money at that time but it was a lot to us it was just a a hard life those that are buried in the cemetery from my family are both my grandparents on both sides my mom my sister and my brother are all buried there. One of the things that I'm real appreciative of is Vale Folklorico Esperanza came to the city and asked if they could help. And they're a group that nurtures these children and, and, and every year they've gone out and cleaned up the cemetery and really brought a lot of life back into the cemetery. And I, I so appreciate the work that they've done. Vale Folklorico Esperanza in the city of Avondale, we collaborate three times a year, and we have three activities here at Goodyear Farms. The first two, we do a community cemetery cleanup. And of course, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. So what is the relationship between Ballet Folclorico Esperanza and Dia de los Muertos? It's very simple. Ballet Folclorico Esperanza was founded by Al and Kathy Sarai. Their ultimate goal when they first founded our organization is to keep the tradition of Mexican culture alive through dance of ballet folclorico. It is important to hold Dia de los Muertos and celebrate it at a cemetery like Goodyear Farms because this is where our friends and family are laid to rest. 
right? And so when you think of the celebration Dia de los Muertos, you can do it from anywhere. You can do it from your backyard. You can do it in your home. But Ballet Folclorico Esperanza and the city of Avondale have teamed up every year. This is our 12th year, but for the past nine years, we've collaborated to celebrate Dia de los Muertos here at Goodyear Farms. And it's important to us because our friends and family, our leaders in our community, migrant workers, American soldier vets are buried here. Our ancestors, this is a historic cemetery. When I go out to the cemetery, I think about the hard work. I think about how the people struggled rows were very long, the bags were very heavy, and yet when I go to the field, I find it a comfort that they rest, and they're resting, and they're at peace after all the struggles that they've been through, and it just makes me happy that we have a place for them to rest forever.